Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. <sighs> the nine of swords with the moon. Eek. Somebody here is trying to hide how they feel. How cute. And the tower is in the reverse. <laughs> the tower in the reverse is someone trying to delay the inevitable. Um, this is resisting. The moon is here because in someone's subconscious mind, which the subconscious mind is obviously what's going to create the reality Either you or someone feels that another person is very beautiful and you are their favorite or they are your favorite. Um, but somebody is worried. Somebody um, with the nine of swords coming out first. Someone could be feeling tired. They could have anxiety. They could be feeling hopeless. They could be um, going through like a dark night of the soul right now, sort of going through a recovery phase. And this person is really trying to hide the fact that, um, let's see what this tower is. What's, what's inevitable here? I feel like somebody is trying to run away from the fact that like they care about you or there's something that they need to tell you. Somebody's intuition is blocked, though. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is here and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so somebody is all in their head about how to move forward into something that is destined. But someone may really be afraid that a situation here is very karmic. Let's always keep in mind that there's good karma and bad karma, okay? Um, also, in any situation, every single situation in life is karmic, meaning it's teaching you some type of lesson. You're going to gain wisdom from something here. The world card is here. So with the Wheel of Fortune and the world card being out here and the Eight of Swords, this is coming out of a period of this doom and gloom, self-sabotage, pessimistic type of energy that has someone stuck, stagnant, and literally just paralyzed by fear because of their own negative thoughts. Somebody here is just afraid um, somebody could be afraid to tap into their gifts, to tap into their intuition. There's a, a decision that someone here is afraid to make, but it's going to bring a lot of great success. This could be in work, career, finances, love, friendship, family. It could be anything. All right. Yeah. The three of wands. Look at that. Manifest your dreams. It could definitely be some type of partnership or relationship here. But it's a time here to level up. But somebody may still be... Um, mm. <laughs> Something here is inevitable when it comes to a past situation or a past life situation. All right? Um, because here's the Six of Cups here. Ah. But this Six of Cups is actually in the reverse. The Six of Cups is in the reverse. The Six of Cups usually speaks of something from the past. It could be the past. It could be a past life. The reason why the Six of Cups, I feel, is falling underneath the moon card is because someone is trying to come off as if they are... Um, they're in this like indecisive energy or they may not be trying it. There could be some kind of illusion or confusion here. A person may actually have a dream. Somebody could even do like past life regression. It feels very much like there is possibly a past life situation here, whether it's like I said, in love or something else in your life that someone is going to have some type of dream, a vision, um, an epiphany about and they're going to quickly realize the eight of wands here that with this tower being in the reverse whatever someone has been stalling at doing here not allowing this breakthrough to happen somebody doesn't want to open their heart something is going to take off very quickly someone is about to get into full alignment and they're going to be communicating some type of truth yeah the seven of pentacles is in the reverse 
the seven of pentacles is in the reverse it, it, it's something here is is stuck it's stagnant but the seven of pentacles in the reverse could also mean that the the weight is over the seven of pentacles usually is this is a major investment yeah man somebody is really in their head the eight of swords and then you have um This is the Knight of Pentacles. So somebody wants to make a solid offer. They want to work hard, but they may be feeling stuck or unstable. You may see this person as irresponsible. At the bottom of the deck, the Magician card is here and the Queen of, of Swords. Wow. And then the Tempers is in the reverse. Yes, yeah, something here is not balanced. You're looking at a situation like you're being very sharp. Um, you want to be fair about something. Um, I, I'm picking up a, a lack of patience because temperance is in the reverse. Make sure that you're controlling your tongue, just being cool, calm, and collected right now. We have um, Mercury is going retrograde. Now Virgo is still retrograding. Um, it's a lot happening in two weeks, there's a full moon in Pisces. So emotions, intuition, um, the end of illusions, confusion. There's a lot happening right now, just cosmically, astrologically, energetically. Um, I feel like the queen of swords being here with the tempers in the reverse. There's someone here that's just like, no, I'm not going to wait. I don't want to do this. Okay, it's here with the world card. So this could mean that a cycle is finally closing out. Some of you, this could be a, a karmic situation and you're closing it out. It may take a lot of willpower and determination for you to go ahead and close this cycle out. But I'm getting for some of you that there is something in your life that is actually quite fulfilling or it will be if you give it some type of time here. If you have the patience to work through whatever this karmic lesson is, every time you run into a bit of, you know, turbulence or whatever in the situation, it doesn't always mean that you need to run away from it. Somebody is in their head right now about a situation that appears to actually have great potential, but you need to figure out how to move forward. Actually, you need to stop trying to figure out how to move forward and simply just move forward. Just surrender to whatever this is because what whatever this situation may be in your life, something is inevitable. There's either an, an inevitable end or there's a beginning that is inevitable. So something here is just written. Even if something, it ends and it starts back, that's the way that it's written. Just surrender to whatever this is. Now we have the Knight of Wands, but it's in the reverse. Somebody just does not have a lot of confidence about a new beginning that's coming in. It's coming in. <laughs> Look, the Ace of Wands. But somebody is feeling blocked by a lot of obstacles and challenges in their life. The Chariot is in the reverse. And here's the Hierophant in the reverse. Mm, eight of wands and the tower so somebody here is going to have to most likely go against like the status quo something here is going to end up being a bit unconventional this could be a blended family but somebody is choosing not to conform um i feel like a person has been trying to conform to a certain path and there's been a lot of obstacles here. And this person is feeling powerless because they can't seem to figure out what direction do they want to move in. This is about to end, though. Whatever these delays are. It's a reason why someone here is so confused. Seven of Wands. Yeah. This is a lot of resistance. Somebody is resisting an awakening. They don't want to go through this awakening. Yeah, this is exactly what it is. Knight of Pentacles. This person doesn't want to fully go through this awakening, but they have to. So somebody here has to go through some type of karma where they're going to have to really evaluate like their life story. They're going to have to 
forgive someone this is like a dark night of the soul that it just has to happen yeah because somebody here has dealt with a heartbreaking situation you have here the three of swords the five of pentacles they've been left out in the cold the eight of cups they had to walk away from someone or someone walked away from them someone here was very childish immature um possibly materialistic like that show off type of energy but this person at the same time was very like jealous arrogant i'm really getting that somebody here is going through a serious ego death this could be a feminine or a masculine or even both if this is a connection that you know you're in right now there could be power struggles here because someone comes off as arrogant i feel like somebody here makes very hasty like decisions based off of um emotions or anger because this person is dealing with not being able to fully let go of some kind of heartbreak so now this person they appear to be a bit manipulative because they've been disappointed this person is really trying to hide how they feel because actually they're afraid of rejection this person could have went through a very um tough breakup or divorce yeah for sure because the ten of pentacles is here so somebody here could have went through a nasty divorce or a separation okay with that could come could have come like um issues with their security their stability and now this person they're on edge about new love but yeah the queen of cups is in the reverse so this person is emotionally drained and this person is being irrational now about this offer the ace of pentacles is here which is a very solid new beginning but the three of swords is here so it's like an offer is being presented but somebody is still in somebody's still grieving some kind of heartbreak this could be the divine feminine or divine feminine this is what the type of energy that someone is in around you and you're choosing to free yourself from whatever this situation is to move forward because you don't want to be in a situation where there's a lot of conflict or hardship all right but you have the five of wands in the reverse the five of wands here in the reverse means that the situation there's going to be some type of resolution to this. You're going to be able to find a common ground here. Right now, you don't really need to do much of anything. But rest, retreat, heal, take time out to um, assess and evaluate the situation. Because this Virgo energy that we have is a time for great introspection, shadow work, healing. Okay. Because maybe two people or someone in a connection lately... With the nine of wands in the reverse has been very defensive and in survival. Somebody here is in survival mode. They're feeling out of control. They're being very defensive. This person, like I said, could be having family or financial issues because of like a divorce, a breakup, um, job loss or something like that. It's hard for this person right now to accept that, that like love is coming in or new friendships or opportunities. But this could lead to a missed opportunity. But like at the beginning, this person thinks that you're very beautiful or you think someone is very beautiful and they're your, they're your favorite, okay? Or you're someone's favorite, but somebody's six of pentacles. Somebody is struggling with um, <laughs> pride, ego, and self-worth. So somebody's pride, their ego has been bruised and so now this person is coming off as very egotistical because their ego is there because they're insecure and what spirit is telling whoever you are especially if you're the divine feminine the best thing for you to do with the six of pentacles being here and the nine of pentacles in the reverse is you need to remember your self-worth the nine of pentacles is in the reverse so this is saying you need to make sure that you're standing up for what you deserve and what you truly desire. Don't overwork yourself. Don't overcompensate in this situation because somebody else is in survival mode. The six of wands is in the reverse. So with the six of wands being in the reverse, this is someone who they're not having victory and success right now. And this type of feeling of failure coming from this other person 
if you're not careful and they begin to project onto you, you may start to question yourself or and spirit is saying, no, don't do that. Some of you, this is a very, this person is actually quite narcissistic in a way. And I'm saying that because I have the This is the page of cups in the reverse. So this person can be manipulative. This person is just they're they're wounded. Their inner child they they're having problems with king of swords in the reverse, meaning they're cold, detached. They want power. They could be sarcastic, mean, grumpy. But see, the hermit is here. This person, somebody here needs a timeout. They they need to go with Anne. Yeah, for sure. Because this is the page of swords. This person needs to learn something. Some of you, this may not be a person that is in your life, but this could be someone that's watching you in your energy and they're upset because a death card is here in the reverse. Somebody would actually like to work really, really hard on having a, 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 a new beginning with you because the King of Swords is here in the reverse, but then you have the King of Cups coming in. The King of Cups wants to come in with the Three of Pentacles to work on something together with you. But the Ace of Swords is here, but it's in the reverse. So you could have somebody blocked <laughs> or you're about to block somebody because they bring the Ten of Wands, the Five of Swords. The Ten of Wands, somebody brings, they're pushing you to the limit. And they're not doing things by, by the book. Yeah, it's something here that you have to release. The Ten of Swords is in the reverse. So the Ten of Swords is in the reverse and we have the Tower out here in the reverse. Like I said, the Tower in the reverse, there's something here. It's just destined to happen, but there's also something that's destined to end. The Ten of Swords, there's something that's very painful here. It's over. You have to fully accept the fact that something is over. You have the Queen of Wands and then you have the Sun in the reverse. You're going to have to make it a point to be very confident, um, outgoing and strong and stop asking for or waiting on like the green light for you to get out of a situation that's bringing you a lot of confusion and illusions. There's something here that you're bored of. You don't like it. Yeah. The two of wands is in the reverse. It's time for you to manifest the four of wands, but there's something in your life or in your energy that it's, it's not bringing you fulfillment. It's bringing like this emptiness almost, and it's because it's not balanced. You're looking for something that's fair in, in balance with the justice card here. Yep. King of wands. Somebody that's a natural born leader. But the King of Wands is here next to the Ten of Cups in the reverse and then the Star in the reverse. Oh, man. There's no wish fulfillment. But the Star in the reverse, it says it's a test of faith. Okay. And then after that is Strength, Seven of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Wow. The Lovers in the reverse and the High Priestess. It seems like a really tough, rough patch here. It's like coming out of one situation, going into something else. But whatever you're going into, it, it tests your faith and your commitment also. So it's, something here is... I don't know. Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles, that's about building a firm foundation, okay, holding back, not having enough even, and then the Ten of Swords. I feel like the worst is about to be over. If somebody here has been operating out of this lower vibration with this, like, scarcity mindset, um... This may just be something that you're ending. 
you're choosing not to hold on to something anymore. It's a huge release. This is like a person, a situation, a marriage, a job. You're you're walking away. Yeah. You're walking away from something. You want to be a free spirit. You want a brand new beginning. You want something that's carefree. It's easy. You know, five of cups here and the three of cups. Yeah. It seems like something has come into your life and you're just going to have to charge it to the game. Like something came in and it's bringing emotional baggage and spirit is saying it's time for you to go out and have fun yeah because there's some kind of toxic situation in your life with the devil something around you is toxic and it's bringing you disharmony you and some someone the lovers in the reverse you don't there's like trust issues or something is just not balanced there's a situation here that maybe uh, Child, this is this is difficult. It really is because I'm seeing like two or three different masculine energies showing up prominently here. But it's saying with the two of wands in the reverse. And then the four of wands, upright and the emperor, you have to make a major decision right now about a divine masculine. Or a divine masculine has to finally make a decision. I feel like there's a divine masculine out here that has been juggling. This person has been juggling dealing with delays because they deal with a lot of codependency. This person will never admit that they have this toxic trait of codependency. So what they're doing is they're coming off as looking for power, being in their ego, um, being very defensive. So right now somebody is in somewhat of like a distorted masculine energy but this is about to to change this is going to shift yeah at the bottom of the deck justice this person isn't going to be able to stay in this energy this energy of them acting like they don't really want love or whatever the case is nine of cups like you're not their wish fulfillment this is only because this person is carrying a, a heavy load this person right now is drained. They're being pushed to the limit right now. And and maybe this person really does need some time out for self-love and self-reflection. So, you know, this could be you or someone that you're dealing with. I think that you should allow this. There's a, a clear warning here that you don't need to, you don't need to move forward with something until this person can come out of this stubborn energy the king of pentacles is here in the reverse so you could be dealing with someone who is either very greedy and possessive they are completely money motivated or this person right now they're being um stubborn ab about not doing certain things right now because they're lacking security and stability all right your intuition is telling you something about this person your higher self that you need to listen to Okay, either this person is about to become this King of Wands energy or you have a King of Wands that's coming in to replace this King of Pentacles in the reverse. But your your um, faith, <laughs> your commitment and everything is being tested because right now the star is in the reverse. So you may feel like you're not inspired. This is a feeling hopeless. Like you're just not going to have the Ten of Cups. Your Ten of Cups is here. It's here. Yeah, because you're the queen of pentacles, but the king of pentacles is in the reverse right now. This person is dealing with some kind of conflict. They feel, um, yeah, there's some kind of conflict or, or de deceit here. Five of swords, seven of swords, and then the ace of swords. Somebody just does not have clarity about a situation. Three of pentacles. You want teamwork and someone who is emotionally in intelligent, someone kind hearted. You have a person in your energy right now that they're they're angry. Somebody here is angry. They're they're a little bit bitter and upset because they're going through a karmic ending in their life right now that's really, really challenging. All right, this could be you or this person. Hmm. This is, it's very clear though that this is going to change. 
for for some of you, for some of you, this is someone from your past that truly is very narcissistic. <laughs> or this could just be somebody that's, you know, just having a tough time right now. That can change. You have to be discerning to know what is what in your life situation. But you're showing up as a queen of pentacles. Meaning for you, you're pretty grounded and stable. The king of pentacles is showing up as the king of pentacles in the reverse. So when it comes to overall security, stability, the future, something here is not balanced. It feels like this person wants to come in as a king of wands and take the lead and be the king of cups. But I don't think this person feels like they can offer you their heart if they can't actually lead right now. Yeah, the sun. Happy. Oh, the sun and the four of wands. Some There's a lot of happiness and wish fulfillment coming in. But right now, there's conflict. There's tension because I'm telling you, nine of pentacles is in the reverse. Somebody here is having financial challenges, which is about to come to an end because someone is finally coming out of feeling trapped and isolated from a heartbreak where their heart has been closed to new love. Someone, yeah, somebody has been spying on, even in this deck, the King of Pentacles is in the reverse. Or this King of Pentacles is finally about to learn something new so that they can have, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Five of Swords. This, whoever this person is, I don't feel like they're giving up a situation without a fight. The Emperor is here in the reverse. Someone's business is going through something right now. For sure. But this person may be trying to learn something new. They're going to give back to where they were. You have the Seven of Swords here with the Six of Swords. The Seven of Swords, let me get one more card. Because it doesn't have to necessarily be somebody doing something bad. The Seven of Swords could just be a plan of some sort. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. This person is secretly trying to create a, a solid new beginning. Hangman. Yep. There, somebody is, is transitioning into something new. It's, it's some type of spiritual awakening. It's growth. It's a change in career, a change in location, change in personality. It, it, some, this is a major change that somebody is going through. Their perspective about things is about to change, and it's going to help someone to really let go. Yeah, the moon is here. So the moon, but it's here in the reverse. There's no more secrets. There's no more illusions. The truth is here. And some of you, you could have gotten in this Queen of Swords energy and told this person the truth that now it's 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 an inevitable situation happening where something has to end in order for something new to begin. Yeah, because somebody here has been juggling, trying to do this balancing act, trying to make some kind of decision. I feel like a lot of you, you call somebody to go through a spiritual awakening. You're for you're. I don't like to say forcing, but you've really inspired somebody um, or triggered them to do a lot of self-reflection, introspection, and soul searching. That may require that this person take some time out, though, for solitude. I feel like whoever this is, and it could be you, the Four of Cups, Five of Cups, somebody still has a lot of regret about something from their past. Because they lost something. Somebody lost a lot. In a situation with the hierophant in the in the reverse, somebody married someone or they were in a committed relationship with the person that they didn't share the same values with. They see you as wish fulfillment, or you see someone as wish fulfillment, but you're gonna have to get over this heartache, this pain, and you know, this feeling of being restricted by some type of conflict of the past this is a, a lot of confusion and illusions this blocking a person from having victory and success they're in the ten of wands it's this is a mindset thing however somebody is moving slowly towards some type of connection here because the feelings are there they're they're mutual um i feel but Somebody really has to clear out the past. And that's what Mercury Retrograde is here to do. To help you 
completely let go of situations from your past that no longer serve you. So, um, in this deck, we have time apart. Some of you guys may have to take time apart from someone or you and someone are already separated. It's, yeah, but time apart and true love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. It seems like this is this happens to be a reading where there's a connection here that's faded for some of you. But it's just, um, yeah, this rejection is actually divine protection. There's, there's a, a need for a time out here. Yeah, for self-care. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. The attraction is mutual, but you need some boundaries right now. Yeah. Somebody is dealing with um, some low vibing energies because of things from their past or in their environment right now. It doesn't change the fact that they care about you and they want to make you an offer. But this person needs to handle some situations that has their undivided attention. This person is obsessively thinking about either a, some type of rejection that they receive from a person, a family, a group, um, a job or something. You need to find some time to go out and enjoy yourself. And if you and this person, if this is someone romantic in your life or whatever, it, it feels like you, they need more of a friend right now than a partner. You want to be able to go out, have really good energy, be in a high vibing energy, find time to laugh, joke around. Yeah, here it is again. True love. But you and this person right now, you're on different pages, but this is a twin flame. It's because right now this person has to master some type of spiritualist. This person has to finally have this ego death. Yeah. They're longing for you. That's why I kept saying beautiful. They just want you to know you're their favorite girl. But they do need a bit of time away from you right now. But your true love is already a part of your life. But there needs to be some time apart. There's a lot of passion in this connection. You can't deny it. But it's not balanced right now because someone is in their ego because of some type of loss or rejection. Trust. Wow. It is safe to trust in this situation and acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. So this is this is not a forever note. It's just a not right now for somebody. If this is your story, there's hope here. Okay, there is hope. Let this person heal. Or if this is you, take the time out to cleanse and clear your energy. Look at that fate and wedding. As soon as I cut the deck, this is fated to lead towards a wedding, a marriage, a serious commitment. But right now, everything doesn't make sense. Or it's not really going the way that you you thought it would. Um, if you've ever seen the movie Love and Basketball, like on this image here, they separated um, they were, they were best friends, <laughs> you know, dated other people while they were friends. They had a connection. They had a relationship. Egos got in the way. They separated, went different, went different, you know, took a different route in life. And then one of them almost got married. They was following their dreams and their career. In the end, they came back together. You know, those happily ever after stories do exist. For some of you, I know you have people from your past. You're like, oh, I would never deal with that person. For some of you, though, you have past life soulmates. Lover's lane. It's true love. And it's inevitable. For This is a reading that for somebody, it's truly inevitable for you and this person to come back together. Like, whatever this ending, there's been an ending here or there will be, but... There's also going to be a new beginning with this person. They just have to learn some type of lesson. There's some type of healing that's needed. Wow. Wedding came out again. This, this situation involves marriage. Divine flame. This is for sure a twin flame connection. And for some of you, you recently met your twin flame. I'm. This doesn't feel like a really old energy. It feels like something 
fairly new in your life. It's just imbalanced right now because there needs to be some healing. But divine flame, wedding, and lover's lane. And then you have your gifts and offers. Yeah. Make a move. Somebody wants to make a move, but they're they're not making a move right now because they have some unresolved <sighs> divine union and freaking devotion is here. Listen and reflect. This person has something to say. But this is someone from your past life. It's a twin flame. High level soulmate. They want to ex explore with you. This person may be wanting to explore spirituality with you as well. Maybe they don't know exactly how to deal with their shadow. Um, with these inner fears. You guys will have to go. You will have to learn about your love language. You and this person definitely have different love languages. And if they're in their ego, that means that they're not really trying to love you in your own love language right now. But they probably want you to love them in their love. This person right now, they're just not. They love you. They like you. They want to be with you, but they're not all there. They, they, This person can't fully show up for themselves right now. That's why they're, trust me, they're, they're going to be forced to go through this ego death. Because it feels like they truly are meant to be with you. This is not everyone's story, but if you resonate with it, yeah, this person, they're meant to be with you. But they have to do the work to be with you. Or you have, both of you have to do the work. There's a little bit of karma, toxicity, kind of in the middle of this connection that's causing some illusions. Oh, Divine Feminine, you came out. This person is longing for you. They miss you. And like I said, this could be someone in your life now or someone from your past, recent past. That could have been <laughs> yesterday, you know. Okay. Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde is bringing in confusion because everyone is reflecting, thinking about their past. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. A lot of thinking, a lot of communication, but you need to trust your spirit guides at this time. They're actually leading you towards marriage because in your soul purpose, you're supposed to be committed to this person. You're, there are certain things that you're meant to do in this lifetime. Marriage plays a huge role in it. What I, I said, dark night of the soul. Somebody here has some bad influences. They've been deceived. Maybe they've been deceptive. They're going, they have to face their fears and old wounds. This somebody here is just lying to themselves. Somebody is not admitting to themselves that they're prideful, they're egotistical, they're stubborn. Um, maybe I'm, I'm getting for somebody here. There's a person out here who has anxiety and they don't realize it. This person does not realize that they have real anxiety and they need to get this under control because it's causing disagreements, arguments, and conflict, and they're confused on how to move forward, but you're their favorite person. They don't want to go anywhere. They actually want a fresh start. This is someone right now that you could have a pretty solid friendship with. Yeah. They want to make you some type of gift. They want to offer you a gift, but... You may be leaving this person out in the cold right now, or they'll leave you out in the cold. Spirit is saying, look at them as if they're you. You and this person, you may be broken up right now. You've been broken up for a few weeks, or you will be breaking up soon. It'll only last a few weeks. But within a few weeks, even if you are separated from this person, within a few weeks, there's going to be something to manifest. Fertility, if you don't want to have a child, you know, take the proper precautions <laughs> because I out here before there was a card about sexual healing. All right. So a night of passion could create a little, a little spirit baby could come through. So just be safe. <laughs> As you guys are blowing off your steam. Yeah, somebody is in denial about the fact that they haven't healed. I don't think that this person is as spiritually awakened and aware as you or this is you. Take it however it resonates. 
somebody here doesn't for I'm getting somebody here doesn't really recognize when they have extreme stress anxiety and they don't understand like a lack of self-awareness this is somebody who thinks that they have it all figured out but I feel like things in this person's life is about to fall apart to show them that there's things that they don't know and this sometimes happens in connections even in friendships family or whatever um you you see it happen a lot like with parent and child where certain things will happen and you will be forced to um let go of their pride and ego and either ask for help or be in a position to offer help because somebody here needs to be humbled honestly this this really what i'm getting somebody needs to understand the importance of them accepting help if it's nothing but an encouraging word without being defensive you know not being in, in your ego so much but somebody's ego is there because they've been hurt this is a this is someone with a bruised ego that's coming off very detached and defensive but they don't mean that they're actually madly in love so I'm going to leave you here. I'm not going to drag this one out. I hope that this gave someone a bit of clarity. Um, it's a pretty specific story right now. Be sure to be very discerning. We are in Mercury retrograde. I'm not suggesting that you run away from a person from your past or that you run back to the past. Pay attention to the energy. All right. If this person is a vibrational match for you and they're putting in the time, effort and the energy that's necessary to meet you on your level and they can elevate your life whether they are from the past or you know they're fairly new in your life you can give that person a chance but um if this is someone that is in their ego they're being narcissistic and they are just playing on you being um an empath and trying to mentally or emotionally abuse you then you know not to open that door but there's something here that's closing out while a new cycle comes in so for some of you you're going to have more than one person in your energy and you have to be very discerning all right not to end up with the person that's extremely manipulative all right that's coming in to love bomb you and you will know because a person who i feel is not truly ready um they'll be open and honest enough to tell you that you know, as opposed to playing with you, playing your energy and wasting your time. 